Charlene back from Radical Feng Shui with Charlene. And right now I want to talk to you a bit about symbology and about being a slave to symbology or a slave to your garden. Now this whole concept came to me when I was studying with Master Lim in Austria and Germany and I was doing the geomantic Feng Shui garden information. And one thing he said to all of us that were there, a lot of landscape gardeners, Feng Shui practitioners, was that often we become a slave to our spaces. And he was specifically talking about gardens. So what does that mean? Well, it means that maybe you want to take a holiday, but you have to find somebody to take care of your garden, make sure you have a really good watering system, have somebody weed your plants. There's a lot of things in gardens that can actually um, be mitigated by certain techniques that belong to the Feng Shui Eastern way of working with gardens. Now, when I talk about being a slave to your garden, it's also the same with symbology. Now, I talked about symbology a bit before, but it's like Feng Shui is about symbology. So I want you to look at what you create in your space or what's there that is maybe symbolizing things you don't want it to. So as a result of this, I'm gonna be giving some courses in September. I'm gonna do one about being a slave to your garden and symbology. And I'm gonna do another course about how to prepare for next year, like what you can do to amplify your spaces so that you're amplifying your life. Feng Shui is about looking at what we wanna create, what we wanna manifest, what we want intention of, which is why I talk about Ming Tang and being able to see the big picture. How can you create these things in your home and especially prepare for them in your outdoor spaces coming next year? So I'll be posting this on my webpage, Adarsha Shui Deva, and that'll be down below. And you can go and read about these courses. They're gonna be simple two and a half hour courses. Probably um, if you take both courses, I'll give you a break. I'll also be giving 21% off readings if you sign up for both courses. So I think it'll be fun to learn more about, you know, how we can change our attitudes towards our indoor and outdoor spaces coming up. Now, whether you're in the Northern Hemisphere, and whether you're in the Southern Hemisphere, we go through these phases, North, South, winter, summer. In the tropics, it's the same all the time. And I'm learning about the tropics because I'm developing my land there and I'm learning about that. But I'll talk about tropical Feng Shui in another time. I've already hit up on it this winter. Go back and have a look at those videos. So please join me. Learn about how to be more proactive with your gardens. Learn how to have your gardens take care of themselves a little better. Master Lim had this great saying, he said, Plants are like errant children, and you have to learn how to train them. I'll leave you with that. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing, and have a great day. Ciao.